If you're running an auto ship or subscribe and save program, then you already automate recurring orders and payments. But what about automating actual changes to upcoming scheduled orders? How can you implement subscription automations just like the leading subscription brands? For example, Petco's first repeat order discount applies a one-time discount for new repeat delivery members. And Dollar Shave Club's starter set begins with an order for a starter kit and then switches to a refill subscription. If you're looking to automate changes to upcoming auto ship or subscribe and save orders, then this video is for you. Introducing Maps, powered by QPilot, the most flexible repeat delivery platform and your hosted service and team powering AutoShip Cloud for Shopify, WooCommerce, and beyond. Hi, I'm David, founder at QPilot, and I'm excited to show you what Maps can do for your business. In today's video, we'll start with a couple of basic automations, and then take a look at how you can easily automate the Petco and Dollar Shave Club examples that I mentioned in just a few steps with Maps. Let's get into it. MAPS stands for Merchant Automated Programs, and like the name says, MAPS enable you to automate changes to your upcoming scheduled orders without writing or adding any code to your online store. MAPS are like flows or automations that use simple conditions like schedule order creation and origin checkout to then trigger actions like switch product or add coupon, giving you the power to deliver awesome subscriber experiences and innovate new ways to incentivize subscribers, upsell new products, and even automate seasonal changes to repeat deliveries so that your subscribers or customer support team don't have to do it themselves. The number of new maps you can create for each of your connected sites may be limited to your subscription plan. So let's start with the two default maps that every online store connected to QPilot has, delete failed and delete paused scheduled orders. Each of these maps will automatically delete or cancel a scheduled order that has remained in a failed status or a paused status after a specified number of days. To set up each of these default maps, select the edit button and then make sure that the match condition is set to the number of days you want to wait before deleting a scheduled order that has remained in a failed status. Most merchants will wait between 90 to 100 days, three to four months, before deleting a scheduled order allowing enough time for win-back campaigns that attempt to get each subscriber to resume their auto ship, but not wait forever before moving on and assuming they'll start a new auto ship or subscribe and save order in the future. When you're done reviewing your settings, simply select finish and enable your map to begin running. Now, let's set up a map that will apply a 35% discount only to a new auto ship subscriber's first repeat order. By the way, this is an awesome marketing experiment to run if your brand has seen a lot of subscribers cancel right after they sign up for an auto ship or subscribe and save offer because it shows them immediate value for staying on their subscription. First, we need a coupon that will apply the discount. Let's call this one new auto ship customer 35% and give it a unique code. I'm also going to limit the maximum amount to 100 meaning that the discount is 35% off up to $100. And then I'm going to set this as a one-time only discount because it should only apply the discount to the very first repeat order. Next, we'll create a new map and call it Auto Ship New Customer Promo. We'll run this like a campaign and have the map run through the end of January. This map should apply on schedule order creation because we are targeting only new AutoShip subscribers. I'm going to add a condition for the origin to be checkout to ensure the map is only triggered by an AutoShip or subscription checkout. And also add a condition for customer scheduled orders created, setting the condition to equals count one with all of the statuses checked. This will ensure that the map only triggers to apply the coupon for brand new AutoShip subscribers. Last, we'll review a summary of the map and then confirm it by enabling it so that the map starts to run immediately. Let's test it now by completing the new AutoShip customer's checkout on our online store and then viewing her upcoming scheduled order in my account and finally confirming that our one-time coupon 
was automatically applied just as advertised. In this example, I'll show you how you can use Maps to automatically switch the product purchased at checkout that includes a free trial of shaving cream to only ship the shaving cream on future refill shipments. Let's create a new map and name it Jack Black Shaving Brush plus 8 ounce cream refill. We'll give it a start date, but no end date because we want to continue running this map indefinitely. I'll also choose to run the map on schedule order creation so it runs right away. For the match conditions, let's set the origin condition to customer checkout and add another condition that the scheduled order must have been created with our shaving kit product. In the action step, let's switch the product from our brush plus shaving cream to just the shaving cream product that will be on auto ship moving forward. Now, let's review the summary of our map and enable it to run. I always suggest testing out any change with your website, so let's confirm that our map delivers this change accurately. I'll complete my purchase of the shave brush plus shaving cream auto ship, and then view my upcoming scheduled order in my account. And there we see that our map has applied the product switch as promised. We covered quite a bit in this video, but we truly only scratched the surface of the many possibilities for marketing and automating with maps. Leave us your questions in the comments below. And if you're looking to automate and scale your repeat deliveries, head over to www.autoship.cloud and learn more about how hundreds of D2C and B2B brands use Autoship Cloud powered by Qpilot to launch and grow their Autoship and Subscribe and Save programs.